one step beyond. Donald Trump became president of the United States in January of 2017. In April, I was still hooked to the news, trying to figure out who these people were who are now running my country. At the time, there was one particular thing that had captured my attention. Melania Trump, the president's wife, had refused to move with him to the White House. She stayed at home in Manhattan, she said, so that their son, Barron, could finish his school year without disruption. Ironic, of course, because the first family's continued presence in the city caused tremendous disruption and $1 million a day in security costs. Why did she do it? What made her think that she could kick off her new job as first lady by not showing up? I needed to know how her mind worked. So I read some magazine profiles and watched some interviews, but none of them revealed anything about what really drove her thinking. So I looked at her Twitter and found there that between 2012 and 2015, she tweeted almost 500 photographs that she took herself. Now, I believe that everyone has an eye, whether or not we see ourselves as photographers. What we choose to shoot and how we frame subjects always reveals at least a little about how we see the world. For someone like Melania, media-trained, controlled, and a longtime public figure, her photographic eye provides an otherwise unavailable view into her life. So I decided to examine Melania's tw Twitter photos as though she were an artist and they were her body of work. It was a very revealing exercise. So now I'll show you a small selection of Melania's photos, which I think will show us just how many secrets about our own inner lives that we reveal in the photographs that we post online. In those three years, she only posted one photograph of her and her husband together. He dominates the frame. Her face is in shadow and cropped out. It's both a selfie and an erasure. And strange is her only depiction of her placement within their world. And she is removed from the rest of her family, too. She posted several photographs of her husband and son together. For each, she's positioned behind the two of them. Sometimes, literally, from the back seat. These photographs seem to suggest a family life lived in the background. And if she sees her family from behind, she sees the rest of the world from above. She posted many images of the view from her home in Trump Tower down in Central Park. These are beautiful, colorful images, taken by a photographer with a clear appreciation for nature. But there's a sadness in the repetition of this imagery that comes in the distance between photographer and subject. And Central Park is a place that Melania loves to admire. And at first glance, it might appear that this type of photograph was taken on foot from inside the park, meaning that she was going out for a walk every once in a while. But looking closely, the snow and tree branches are blurred with the motion of a car. Here again, the tree branches are blurred. And the raindrops are never falling, but always stuck to a window. And it's interesting how she cropped these two to remove the road. It's as though she perceives herself to be walking in the park, or wants us to believe that she is, even when she's only driving past. And when she went to Barcelona and Washington, D.C., and the Paris Las Vegas Hotel and Casino, she saw those places from inside a car, too. In selfies, Melania has some peculiar tendencies. She almost never posted photographs of her whole face. But when she did, she blew them out editing them so much that the contours of her nose are almost imperceptible. In selfies where she's not blown out, she's disguised behind big black sunglasses and glamorous waves of hair. In selfies where she's not blown out or disguised, she's cropped up into pieces. This is a paradox for a woman who is a former model, a longtime public figure, that when she turns the camera around, that when she represents herself, she is obscured. And this instinct to hide extends to her son. In photographs of Baron, she always obscures his face, just as she obscures her own. Here he's disguised in the little boy version of her big black sunglasses, ski goggles. This is also the only photograph she posted of the two of them together, and it eerily mirrors the lone selfie of her and her husband, where she cropped herself out to remove herself from the frame. But she treats Baron differently, too. Here, there's no passivity. He is the actor in motion, swimming and swinging. 
Photographically, she composes a world for him that is much bigger than her own. Melania posted her last photograph to Twitter on June 11, 2015, five days before her husband announced his candidacy for president. It's an old photograph of a then six-year-old baron taken on the beach. He's waving goodbye to a professionally built sandcastle in the background. The day she chose to post this image, she knew, of course, that the campaign was coming. She must have known that her husband might win. And in retrospect, this choice reads as prophecy. Goodbye to her own golden tower, to a palace she knew was destined to crumble. So we've done a close reading of Melania's photographs. And now we see her in a new way, maybe more sympathetically than we did before, maybe less. But there's something deeper here, too. Social media platforms demand endless visual imagery, but each of these images, as disposable as they may seem in the feed, as quickly as we may scroll past, is a photograph captured by a human being who has chosen that fraction of a second with that particular composition to share. By reading these images closely, contrary to the way social media intends for them to be seen, we can reveal unexpected things, maybe even some truth about another person's unique experience of the world around them. Melania did move to the White House eventually, of course. On June 11, 2017, bizarrely, exactly two years to the day after she posted this photograph of Barron on the beach, she posted this one to her new First Lady Twitter account. Her caption, looking forward to the memories we'll make in our new home, hashtag moving day, exclamation point. And I don't think it's a coincidence that she chose a perspective with candle fire, curtains, a window frame, iron bars, and the pillars of the White House itself sitting as barriers between her and the rest of her new city, Washington, D.C. Thank you. <laughs>